guys, this is Heidi from Boy Boss Mama and today's video is just for fun. I saw this first at um, Barefoot Easy. She had uh, 30 random questions about herself. And then yesterday I saw Amanda from The Fundamental Home share hers. Uh, 30 um, random facts about herself. So I thought it was really cute and I really wanted to do this because it gives you a chance to get to know me more. The quirky girl that I am. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'm gonna start. The first random fact about myself is that um, I love dogs. I love pets but I really love dogs and I love them so much that they'll be like a child to me. I literally would spoil them and I would not go places because I don't want the dog to be alone for too long. So that's one. Which is the reason why I don't have one right now. Um, I love all things pumpkin and corn, pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin soup, pumpkin muffins, corn muffins, just regular corn, just regular pumpkin. I just love those. They are my favorite. <laughs> um, I have a great love story. I think that, um, the way I met my husband was really special. Maybe one day I'll spell it with, uh, I'll share it with you guys. But I did meet him at a funeral and it was kind of like love at first sight with us because we both looked at each other like, hmm. So, I, and then it was just beautiful after that. We did, uh, he lived in Puerto Rico and I lived here. So we had a long uh, courting uh, time that we did over the phone and he would visit me, it was really sweet. So I, I love my love story. Um, I, oh, my first uh, pregnancy was amazing, it was so nice. But then the ones after that, I'm so sorry my phone. The ones after that, I ended up having a very rare disease called cholestasis of the pregnancy. And it is a liver disease. It's a disease that, um, tar it's just pregnancy induced and it targets your liver and the liver enzymes and it's horrible. Wouldn't, there, wouldn't wish it on anybody but your skin feels like it's on fire, you're constantly itchy, there's no relief. Um, and it's at the last month and month and a half that happens. Not throughout the whole pregnancy but the last month, month and a half which is really crazy. Um, let's see, what else I have here? Oh, I memorized Psalms 4. When I was five years old, my mother made me memorize it in Spanish and I still know it, which is really special. Um, my, oh, I'm super forgetful. <laughs> All my friends could say that I'm just forgetful. I'm so forgetful, it's terrible. Um, and I don't, it's not just because I'm a mom of three boys. It was way right before that. <laughs> oh, when I was about 21 or 22 years old, I was about to rent an apartment and I had to do a, um, Poison control, I don't know what it's called. Uh, I had a lot of roaches and I had to do a bomb. I literally have to bomb the place because it was just full of roaches. And before I accepted it, I said, I want to see if this works. <laughs> so the owner did let me bomb the apartment. But in that in that same moment that I was bombing the apartment, I the one of the cans fell. It was this can that you kind of click the, the top and it starts spraying the, the poison. So one of the pa the cans fell and I grabbed it and breathed, breathed all that air, all that poison in. And for a good four, three, I don't even know how long it was, I could not breathe. I almost died. I, I would say I almost died. It was like a life and death. It was like a moment where my, my whole life flashed be before my eyes. Um, and the, the hallway was so pitch black, I couldn't see. So I finally just threw my body over the window and I'm trying to gasp for air and I finally was able to breathe but it was like the longest two three minutes of my life it was terrible and that's a random fact there you go um let's see I have no pinky toenail that's a random fact I'll leave it there <laughs> uh my favorite feature about myself is my dimples it was a given by my mama love her with that said I would say that my mom passed away when I was 12 years old and she was 45 she had uh, high blood pressure. Um, and with that said, I will say that I ran away from my home when I was 19 because of my situation. I was not happy, so I ran away when I was 19. Um, I only did three months of college with things because of that whole situation at the age of 19. I was only able to do three months of college and then I had to work full-time job, two jobs here and there to sustain myself. So I only did three months of college. I wish I would have gone back, but I didn't. Um, I used to race people. Okay, well with that I say that I was born to drive. First, I was I was born to drive, um, and I lost count of the facts, but I, I have them all written down. So I'm just gonna go on down the list. Um, but um, I was born to drive. I always say that because my my father um, 
he made he gave me lessons in his really crazy van it was like this really antique looking van and it had the accelerated um accelerate it was very accelerated and it, the brake was really in i don't know how to say that like it's just you know your foot goes all the way in <laughs> so anyway that was the vehicle that he used to talk to teach me how to drive it was really funny and i picked it up so quickly so with that said i'll say that with um my first driving lessons you know for the motor vehicles you have to take you have to go to driving school at least for one lesson um at least in my state so i went to driving school i took that one uh lesson and uh i was driving in the highway and he forgot he was so comfortable with the way i was driving that he didn't realize that i was doing 70 miles an hour in a 55 miles an hour highway so he had a heart attack but i mean it just shows that i was re he was really comfortable with me driving um anyway so i was i was born to drive um and with that i was trying to say that i, I used to race people on the highway i know when i was a lot younger that was one of the, my rebel years god forgive me long time ago but i used to love racing people so you know you look at them and you're driving and you're like hey you want to you know you know what <laughs> you want to race <laughs> and they'll look at you back and yeah let's do this oh man I, I was really bad and i would really like the boys the, the way they race like i would skim through cars it was crazy so yes random fact um i don't have an actual favorite of anything i always say one of my favorites because i seriously don't have an actual i can't sit here and tell you what's my favorite food what's my favorite color i have like four favorite colors um what's my favorite uh, book I, I can't tell you what's my favorite of anything for some reason i just won't commit to one thing i just like too many things so i always say i don't have a favorite of anything um i used to uh let me see oh i used to love and collect me in the pool when i was 19 20 years old uh so there was like one christmas where everybody gave me way the pool things like and everything was unique and different but i mean i everybody everybody gave me something way the pool which was really funny um and i was old I was older collecting Winnie the Pooh, but it's just what I loved. I love Winnie the Pooh so much. Um, let's see. I, I will say that one of my favorite books of all time, it's called Redeeming Love. And it's one of my, also those, those two random facts, uh, one of my favorite um, authors, she's a Christian author. Her name is Francine Rivers. I've read a few of her books and I'm like, that book takes the top. I, I, I would say one of my favorite books because I might have another one that she did, but that one is like number one, Redeeming Love. Look it up. Francine Rivers' Redeeming Love is a story on, uh, is based on Hosea, the account of Hosea and um, the prostitute in the Bible. So it's just a beautiful story. It's amazing. And with that said, that book, um, we had a book, we had a book, um, club going about 10 girls because we all read it at the same time it was amazing that we had a discussion and we were just like overflowing with with uh, you know amazement and gratitude with this book and then i also gave it away to like three or four people in my life and randomly as they read it throughout that year three months later five months later a year later they would call me and say i cannot believe this book it changed my life so you know it's one of those books Okay, um, more random facts. I love to sing. I can pretty much harmonize to any song. I learned to sing when I was 13 with one of my friends back then. She taught me how to sing. And I, she taught me how to harmonize, how to find the harmony in each song. So I love to sing. Um, I love to throw parties. I love decorating. I love planning parties. And it's something that is a little passion inside of me that I would probably in the future when my kids are bigger, I would love to run a business on decorating and doing parties. Love it. Um, with that said, I had a business where I did party favors for parties and I was getting really good at it. Um, I would challenge myself. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my... I would challenge myself um, to do things that I've never done before. Pretty much because it's a starting business, you kind of just, you know, winging it half of the time. Every time somebody asks you for something new, you're like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. And I would totally challenge myself and I would always come through for my clients. And I really had such a good time, but it was one of those things that I had to let go for my homeschool. My homeschool mama life so uh, let's see I can float very easily I don't know I, I just wanted to share because I am NOT a good um, swimmer but I can float you know like nothing so it's really weird I know um, let's see um, I'm going into 10 years of marriage I married my sweetheart love him um, I'm very competitive very competitive um, to the point that you know if you challenge me to do something I want to win <laughs> 
And I remember this one time, I'll give you an example. Um, there was like 20, 20 students. We had to um, memorize the this um, grid of numbers, exactly how they were laid out, um, and then write them out. So they gave us a good five minutes to memorize all those numbers in this grid, and exactly in order you had to write them down. And I, I won, yeah. <laughs> I did it <laughs> even though I don't have a good memory I know uh, let's see my girlfriends I asked them to tell me what I could share and they both said I get a lot of twitches in my eye I get a lot of twitching in my eye all the time so I'm always like oh my eye is twitching again and they always think that that's hysterical that I years later I still get twitches I know am I the only one seriously um, let's see what else um, that I'm the worst to watch movies with because I ask questions a lot and I go, but what's gonna happen? If you have seen the movie, I'm gonna be asking you questions. <laughs> so they say I'm the worst at watching movies with. Um, in third grade, I was in a uh, one of my first plays. I was the old lady in the shoe and that was so much fun. I never forget it. I have memories of that. Um, one of my favorite teachers was Mrs. Nunez. If I ever, 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 ever see her again, I would give her a big hug. She was my third grade teacher. She was amazing. Just never forget her, never. Uh, let's see, in high school, I was really good at art, at my art class. I was even showcased a few times, and I always said I couldn't do the project. Every time he would present the project, I would say, oh my gosh, that's too hard, I can't do it. And I would always do it. So I, I was really good at art in high school. Uh, let's see, I'm almost done. Um, let's see. I went through a dry spell um, when I was in my 20s, my early 20s, where I couldn't cry. I wouldn't cry for anything. I was very, like, hardened. And I remember praying to God and saying, God, I want to be emotional. I want to be able to feel the pain that people feel when they share something with me. I want to be able to cry with them. And I remember praying about this. I remember praying and saying, Lord, you know, please help me feel and have sentiment for people with people when they have been, when they shared stuff with me that I can cry with them because that was really a big deal for me and I don't know why I was so hardened at the time I was going through a, a few things and I just became really hard but through my prayer God really answered my prayer and I have to say one of my random facts is that I cry for everything now <laughs> I cry for everything I cry and happy commercials literally happy commercials the girl kind of caught a ball the daddy picks her up and says good job I'm crying yeah, nothing, it doesn't have to be sad. I just, I'm just a very easy crier now. <laughs> so God opened those floodgates for me. He really did. Anyway, those are my random facts. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to open up myself to you a little bit so you can get to know my quirky self. And um, if you didn't enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. Please go ahead, make a video. I would love to see your 30 random facts. And thank you, Amanda, for opening this uh, up for other people to do. I really had fun doing this. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next time.